Restoring damaged teeth from cavities with a restoration is probably the most common procedure performed by family and pediatric dentists. This video is a brief explanation of the process. Observe the large green area of this tooth. This is a cavity. For some reason, the cavity has become stained, probably from something this person has eaten, but no one knows for sure. This radiograph of the same tooth is located on the upper right corner, and there is a large darker area on the right side of the tooth. This is the cavity. This is a large cavity and is close to the pulp or nerve of the tooth. Typically, for cavities that develop between the teeth as this one did, by the time it is detectable visually, they are large. On the other hand, radiographs allow detection of a cavity before it is very large, as can also be seen on the same radiograph and the tooth that is to the right. This is the tooth after part of the cavity has been removed, and the green seems to be even a more intense green than before. The blue material around the tooth is called a rubber dam and is used to aid in fixing the cavity by keeping the tongue and saliva away from the working area. It is attached to the tooth with a rubber dam clamp. This photo was taken after most of the green cavity has been removed. This was a large and deep cavity. This photo was taken when the filling material was starting to be placed. The metal band is called a matrix and is used to keep the filling material from flowing out before it gets hard. The white material placed in the tooth is called glass ionomer. It helps prevent sensitivity to cold and helps prevent additional decay by releasing fluoride gradually over time. The wooden wedge seals the band to the tooth. This tooth is being filled or restored with a tooth-colored material called composite. In this photo, part of the composite has been placed inside the prepared area of the tooth. This photo is when all of the filling material has been placed in and on the tooth and the silver band or matrix has been removed. This last photo is of the completed composite restoration with the rubber dam removed. The blue are from articulating paper and indicate if the filling material is too high or too large. The rubber dam clamp sometimes leaves a mark on the gums that heals quickly.